another shot. Give it to. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Today, we got the spotlight on a young man by the name of Mike Mathis right here at KAZ Radio, Cleveland's online inspiration station. How you doing, my brother? I'm doing good, man. Thanks for having me. Oh, man. I, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to have you here. You know, my, my wife found out about this, the Cleveland kickoff, and I mean, the Cleveland kickback, and she just said, you got to have this man on KAZ. So wow. thank you, honey, for introducing me to Mike Matt. So what's going on, man? man? I'm blessed, man. I'm doing good, man. Well, the way we start off every show is our audience like to have a testimony. Yes, sir. Tell us how you came to G to know Jesus Christ. Man, it's, it all happened to derive from a place of um, being lost. Um, I ended up receiving a vision of uh, seeing hell. Wow. And when I seen hell, I just fell to my knees and told God I surrender. Wow. So I was at a place, um, actually being, I was incarcerated. And I'm um, at a place of being in Mississippi, incarcerated away from my comfort zone, family, friends, and whatnot. And um, I seen hell three days and me being incarcerated, and I told God I surrender. And uh, from there, I felt the impartation take over my body and um, start thinking different. My desire change and things of that nature just start shifting. So, um, wow. and and so now you've been with with the Lord for oh yeah, quite we some time. yeah we rolled it. See, and yeah. the thing is, I, I was born and raised in church. Okay, okay. Uh, so I knew the I knew I knew the routine of church, but I didn't know the relationship of Christ. And uh, I think that's a big difference there. So, so you know now, connect the dots for me. Yes, sir. From, you know, finding Christ to now becoming this this promoter. How did that happen? How did this ministry get started? Well, I think Jesus was a promoter. Mm. <laughs> so I think by me having his spirit inside me, uh, that, that actually birthed another uh, another thing that I didn't know I had. Um, by me being a people's person and whatnot, I'm just promoting love. And I think change is not a factor. Everybody want to change. To the thuggish, ruggish, to the, to, to the, to the messed up saint. Everybody want to change. But the factor is, people don't know what to change into. Wow. Um, so I want to represent that um, change, and um, that you know I think people need to need to see, which is that love. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. And, and, and that and that is awesome. And you are a member of one of the most fabulous churches in the city. So go ahead and give him a shout out. Pastor Vernon, I love you, man. This is Mike Mathis, Word Church. Now, yes, Mike, sir. you got something going on, man. That 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 is absolutely phenomenal. Coming up here um, in the just just around the corner, actually on July 10th. Yes, sir. It's called the Cleveland Kickback. Tell me about that. Well, the Cleveland, Cleveland Kickback um, was derived from my movement. I have a movement called "I'm Not Famous, But I Made It," um, and my movement means that we all did some things in our life that we're not proud of. And truth be told, we may even have certain experiences that's attached to our name that will never get an applause from people, even though we don't even entertain that stuff anymore. But in God's eyes, we've made it. So in retrospect, you know, people may say one thing about you, but God says says another. So uh, in saying that, my, my, my mission is to help people discover and develop their true identities, even in the midst of their situation. And I believe that you got some people who's incarcerated but never been in jail. Wow. So in saying that, I, I have a passion for, I always had a passion for people, so I have a passion now now that I, this, movement, this movement's been birthed out of me, um, that I want to help people find their identity. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a struggle nowadays to find your identity because you're, you're drowning in relationship pressure, uh, uh, job pressure, finance, there's different stuff that's actually hard to find your identity. So in saying that, um, through life challenges and through everything, by me just seeing life challenges and whatnot from other people, my, also myself, 
I think love needs to be shown. You mm. know, you got killing happening. You got people doing just crazy stuff happening in society. Um, so God birthed something inside me. Um, he told me that I needed to bring something to Cleveland called the Cleveland Kickback. And uh, we have a, it's going to be a live band, poetry contest, um, cash giveaways. Got uh, People get to view the art exhibit. Uh, with um, and then I'm that's the day I'm dropping my book too as well. So it's something wow. it's something that I want to give back to Cleveland and have people to feel love. You know I'm have people in place, different influential speakers in place, where I feel it represents that change, um, that that loving spirit, and um, I'm gonna I'm have my team and staff in place so people can feel that love as well. So I think love is uh, a good factor to represent. Well, you know what I'm I'm I'm, I'm logging on here on, on Facebook and yes, sir. and pulling up some some, some some great things. Matter of fact, let the audience see a little bit of that. Um, right here is 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 the the flyer on your Facebook page uh, under Michael Mathis. Folks can go there and, and get yeah. more information. Is there a website also that's available? Yeah, uh, my website is www.imnotfamous.org. I'mnotfamous.org. Here's a flyer you just got done seeing. That's just one of many people. They're posting flyers. That's just one person who's um, who's actually a, she's on my team, and she just um, we're, she's posting flyers of saying I represent this um, this function right here. I'm the, the, the Cleveland Kickback. So that's um, that's you gonna see a series of people who actually have their their picture attached to the flyer. And saying, you know, I, I'm representing. I, I want to represent that love. So that's what it is. Now, in this um, uh, event you're having, why the title, the Cleveland Kickback? Well, I think the I, I have it set up in place because I think people needs to come out and just relax, get away from the the pressure, the things that life brings, uh, just different series of things and. I want people to come at, come come out, relax, enjoy themselves. Don't think about what happened at home. Don't think about the argument that you just had. Don't think about the, the what the what Pookie and Ray Ray doing. Don't think about right, what, right. Your, what your what your boss said to you. Man, just come back and come out and relax and enjoy yourself. So right, yes, right, the right. Cleveland kickback. The, the Cleveland kickback. Yes. Now, sir. now, are there any other events that you've had previously before this? Yes, sir. Um, Tell us about them. I actually have my launch. Um, I'm, I was launching my movement. Um, I'm not famous, but I made it. My first launch happened back in March. Um, that's when I just launched myself to the public. I feel like I was in a cocoon, mm. um, and when and now that I'm coming out into my butterfly, meaning having having um, the thing that was already inside me is being birthed now. God saying it was time, so that's why I introduced that I'm not famous movement to society back in March. And I also I had another uh, event. It was a panel, okay. so I had I was, I was partner. My co-host was Judge Dawson. He partnered okay. with me, and we did a panel, a series of people who been molesting gangs and wow. just all kind of stuff, been raped by their father, and just all kind of stuff. And we just bring let them know that um how the, the how they got in the mess and the solution. Come on, Doc. and truth be told, you don't you don't know, you don't know who you never know who you're sitting next to. You never know who you're across at that job or at that church. Right. Um. Right. So it's saying that we we think it's it, I also think it's good that you show the solution and not just so much the problem. Well, you know so, we got a commercial yes, that we want to play. Okay. Uh, called the Cleveland Kickback. Wow. Let's let's play that for our audience right here on KAZ Radio, Cleveland's online inspiration station. The, the Cleveland Kickback is presenting a free event which is called the Cleveland Kickback. So save the date, Sunday, July 10th, 5P to 8P. Hold up, let me say that again. Sunday, Sunday July 10th, 5P to 8P. At the Mocha Museum of the Contemporary Arts in Cleveland, Ohio. Located at 11400 Yuga Ave, Cleveland, Ohio. It's going down. Live band, poetry contest, cash giveaways, and more. And on that day, I'm dropping my book, which is entitled, I'm Not Famous, But I Made It. Psalms 23. This is one event you don't want to miss. Till then, be blessed, Northeast Ohio. See you soon. I'm not famous, but I made it. Man, I love that. Yes, sir. I love that. I mean, that gives people, I mean, that should be like a mantra for so many people. Wow. I, no, I'm not famous, but I made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, just the fact that, that we've received Christ in our lives means that you made it. Yeah. And I was watching something, and this is sort of co- uh, so, so sort of goes with what you're doing. Uh, a gentleman said, 
Okay, just because you're 50 don't mean you need to start winding down. Most definitely. You may have another 40, 30 years ahead. Oh, yes. You, yes. you need to be ramping up. Yes. Age is nothing but a Age number. It's nothing but a number. It doesn't, it doesn't define the gift or what um, God's plan is for your life. So. Exactly. Exactly. Now, this poetry contest yes. that you're having on July 10th, uh, can anybody enter? How do you enter to this? So what what happens is I, I, um, I pulled up. Uh, posted something on uh, social media I just don't know something on social media for now okay. I posted something that's saying how to enter you just go to my website um, yeah, while well, you go to my website and you ha I had a video and um, it had a, a series of things that I was offering okay. uh, saying how, how people can go in go on there and um, you know uh, give me a shoot me a sample video and also you know you got certain certain qualifications that you can have to have in order to be a part of the port, um, be a part of the poetry contest. But I call it an audible. I'm okay. calling it an audible because it was a lot. And also, I have, I do have a modicum of people who came in and submitted their videos as well. But um, it was profanity there, and it just yeah, really yeah. wasn't. It wasn't fit for the crowd. I'm expecting, so I'm calling an audible. To, um, and what I'm doing is I have I have like five or six people who's gonna be a part of the um the poetry contest. Okay. But what I'm 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 going inside the B side today. I'm gonna be at the B side over there at the cover tree. Um I'm be there tonight and just pretty much promoting. I'm telling people, man, if you wanna connect and be a part of the contest, I'm giving away two hundred dollars in cash. If you wanna be a part of the poetry contest, man, just shoot me an email, Mr. Mike Mathis at gmail dot com. Again, Mr. Mike Mathis, Mr. Mike Mathis at gmail.com. Just shoot me an email and let me know you want to be a part of it and um, we can exchange information. Let me just hear your heart, hear your flow, and um, we just I'll let you be a part of the contest. It's a $10 entry fee. You can pay at the door, you can pay then, uh, when, whenever, but you, um, the winner will receive $200 in cash and the audience will be the judge. So it won't be oh, me, it'll be, <laughs> it'll be the audience. So it's gonna be the audience. You never know who will be there. So, so just maximize, I believe, I tell people all the time, just maximize the opportunity. So. And, and, and one last thing, your book, the book, um, the book came out of, what, did it come out of pain? Did it come out of discouragements? Did it come out of, mm -hmm. what did the book come out of? What, what, what birthed this book? Well, the, uh, the book was predicated from a place where, um, where I was, I felt like I didn't, I was lost. Mm. Um, a place where I was just being developed. Um, it, it was it had a series of emotions there. Mm. Um, you know, my book is called "I'm Not Famous, But I Made It." Psalms 23 edition. Right. Um, when I was incarcerated, I went through so much, and God told me when I accepted God in my heart at the third day, of me being incarcerated. Um, I accepted God in my heart, man, and um, as a God was actually ushering me through the different series and through those chapters in Psalms 23 um, while I was incarcerated. He was just showing me more about me right. as I was drowning up under pressure, the pressure of me wanting to be out. Um, he just showed me different levels of me and um, he was growing me, exposed me to the more of me and how much I can handle and stuff like that. So by the grace of God, I made it. Um, you know, um, he strengthened my character, strengthened me as far as having me have um, my self-esteem. He, uh, my confidence, I got strengthened. You know, I seen vision. I started seeing who I really am, who I really am through Christ. So the Psalms 23 is like a reflection book. So as I'm telling my stories and walking through the journey of me being incarcerated and uh, now that I'm out, really thinking I'm not going to feel accepted with this in society, or whatnot. Um, what happened? What happens is uh, God had me write a book, and the book is in correlation to having you to identify your gift and your assignment and purpose as I reveal my story. So that's that's all it is right there, man. So um, as, as you know, I'm... You, you, you said something stuff. about as you were going through the process. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think of when people are going through things, one of the things that they don't recognize while they're going through the process is guess what? You're going through a process. Your process uh, brought you through the process. You don't have to reveal all the book, but just tell them a few things that they need to know while going through the process. Be careful 
not to lie your mind. I said this in my book because as I was going through the stages of me going to the zone, and I seen about 35, 40 prisoners, people who has been incarcerated. Uh, I remember um, God's telling me as He was my blocker because I accepted Him in my Christ, as I accepted Him in my, into my heart. And um, as He was leading the way, uh, God reminded me that be careful not to allow my mind to be attracted to the seasons in life and not the assignment. And I think a lot of times you're going to go through certain seasons in life. If it wasn't for the seasons, you never would have your next. You need to have your next in order to go, to, to go through the seasons. Um, and I think the seasons is meant is attached to your character. I learned that also in my book that if I if I wanted to attain my next, my next would be hazardous, hazardous if I never went through the season I did go through. Um, if my character wasn't in place, my gift was there, but my character was in place, my my next can be hazardous. If I had to under, I had to understand why I was there. Um, what I'm there for, um, not just on the on the on the, on the, on the sense of what society thinks, but just deep down in my soul, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, why am I why am I there? How am I um, how am I capitalized off the situation? And that's it. So that's what, in my book. You're gonna see um, the different seasons. In my book, you're gonna see your assignment, not just my assignment, your assignment. And also, I have a special treat at the end of my book for the people who read my book you're gonna you're gonna be encouraged i have a definite special treat for you guys so well amen amen well we're going to one more time we're going to promote this great opportunity to just kick back yeah. enjoy some live music enjoy some poetry uh at the uh, museum of contemporary arts right here in this beautiful city of cleveland ohio um we are looking forward to july 10th yes at 5 p.m to 8 p.m yes, man you're cutting off sort of early man can't, you can't get, take it to 10? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> 10, man. I mean, and, and now, I'm just curious, what bands are you going to have? Is it a variety of bands or just one band that's playing? Well, we, we do have this one band. We have the, we do have this one band named this guy. He's over the band. His name is Elijah um, Gilmore. Okay. Um, really good guy. I've been watching him for a, a, a while now. Um, he's been numerous things. Take Five. He entertained Take Five. And he just did uh, so much things in the community so I definitely wanted to um, shout him out and use him as well also I want to shout out all my sponsors who people who believe in me too as well I have a, a series of sponsors who believes in me uh, I mean I can name them all too it's um, you'll see more there on the screen but I just want to shout y'all I say thank y'all so much man um, and I, I it's a book called who's holding your ladder and it mm. speaks about the person who's actually holding your ladder has to be stronger than the person who's above your ladder and as I'm doing this, I couldn't really do this without the people who's holding my ladder as the sponsors who sponsor me. So shout out to you guys too as well. So, Well, you know what, uh, Michael, I want to thank you again for just coming out and sharing and being a yes. part of the KAZ Radio family. Yes. And folks, I highly recommend going out to this event coming up on July 10th uh -huh. from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., the Cleveland Kickbacks. In other yes, words, sir. kick back, relax, and enjoy some good poetry and some good music. And now, brother, I gotta ask my last question: Is there gonna be anything to eat? Man, this is a surprise for y'all. Man, stay tuned. I see y'all there. July <laughs> ten, five to eight. All right. Well, Michael, man, I like to just say, man, I love you. Jesus loves you. Yes. And sir. there's nothing you can do about it. All and right. thanks again for being a part of the family. Thank you, man, for having me. <laughs>